Hi, I'm Ben Alder and welcome to Songwriting Fridays where I attempt to provide you guys with some tips and techniques for songwriting, most often through challenging myself to write a new song every week uh, and whether it's good or whether it's bad to complete or completely unfinished to share it with you in a video uh, and then it just unpacking my experience of songwriting that week, um, sharing what tips um, I've picked up through and, to, and whatever techniques I've employed in, in writing a song that week. Uh, the, what I was playing at the beginning was just something I was improvising using some chords uh, that I, I picked up a few years ago from a friend. And I was chatting with, chatting with somebody on Instagram recently, a friend of mine, and he was, he was saying, he's, we've been messaging for a while and he was saying oh i've been watching your videos on instagram and i've noticed that you 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 when you're playing chords you're moving all over the the fretboard you're not just kind of in a static place uh when you're playing you're, you're moving around and uh and, and he was commenting on that because for him he was saying that he, he doesn't have that kind of freedom when he's playing and uh and there's no 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 bad thing. He's actually a really good songwriter. I, I love his music. Um, but the but he finds himself kind of in these sort of places that we all learn when we're starting out and playing guitar, particularly. You know those those classic chords of like G, D, E minor, and C. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with those chords. That that those particular chords and that particular chord structure. They're they're crazy common in songwriting. They're they're super common. And you know so much so that when you learn those first those four chords as a song as just as a guitarist when you're first starting out, you can play hundreds and hundreds of songs, songs that are classic um, and and have but but have this structure, and um, in common with with so many other songs. It is it really opens things up, um, and it's a foundation that we build from. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I am I am not for a second hating on those four chords. Or people that use those chords in their songs, but if, like me, um, you you want you, I write song, try and write a song every week, and I don't, and so it becomes really obvious to me when I start using and drawing on the same, the same chords. I get tired of playing the same chords in the same structure all the time, so I don't want to do that. I want to avoid that. So, what can we do? If we're trying to to push ourselves as a musician and uh, get out of that that rut of using the same four chords, um, by the way, I still go back to those chords, um, but there's nothing wrong with them. I apologise for my neighbour's dog. By the way, just it's that we're in lockdown. <laughs> there's nothing I can do. Uh, so. But anyway, so what so what am I doing uh, with the, with those chords? For what I was playing around at the beginning, I was just play, improvising around uh, with some different voicings of uh, of those same, of that same key, uh, G, D, E minor, and C. Um, playing around that key, moving around, um, but but changing the voicing. So typically, we would play G, D, E minor. See, and I'm just playing the standard default uh, voicings of those chords there. But some years ago, uh, like 10 or more years ago, a friend of mine who was a much younger uh, person than me, um, but a really talented guitarist, he, he, he opened up a whole new world to me by showing me these, these chords. He called them thirds. But I, I think they could also be called um, sixths, um, depending on how you choose to look at them. Um, I'm sure there are some 
guitar theory nerds who will drop comments and correct me about the actual names of these chords. But essentially, I'm using the strings, uh, occasionally using the, the alternating between the fifth and the sixth string as my root of the of the chord, the root note of the chord. Hello, dog. Um, but then also picking between the third string, the G string, and the string two, the, the B string. So I'm using those, those three strings. That's all I'm playing. I'm not really strumming anything. Um, but a good place to start might be um, to, if we start on the, the, from string six. That's a, that's a G, a normal G would be, would be this. This would be, if I was to play it open, would sound like that. And that to me just has like an interesting variation from the regular G chord. That sounds much brighter. That, I don't know, that seems to have more body, more warmth to it for me. And if we were to pick that, That it would go a little like this, but the, the fun thing about these particular kinds of chords is they're they're largely movable. You don't have to change the the structure of the the chord that you're playing, but you could just slide your hand up. So this is a G major. You could go to A major there, and to make it a minor, you would just alter the finger position. So instead of it being uh, here, we would have for a B major, it doesn't sound very good, open, but you could pick it this way, you, in the exact same way as a G and an A. But to make that a minor, you just need to flatten the note on the third string there. So we've got here uh, on the sixth, here on the third, the sixth fret on the sixth string, then on the third string we have the seventh fret and the sixth, and then the final note in this chord. On the second string is again on the, the sixth fret. That would be a B major, but you would need to flatten uh, the it, flatten the third string so that everything is on the sixth fret. That would give us a B minor in line like this. So then we have G, A, B minor. Then to we could continue to, to a D up here. And we've got most of our most of our notes, most of our chords in this key. G, A. We've got a D. But if we start moving around on the fifth string, a G would be here. We just take, remove our finger and, and take it out the way. It gives us a G over B. But this, this particular shape is what we're going to use. So that's a, you've got your index finger on the B, on the fifth fret, and then on the B string, the second string, we've got uh, our third finger on the third fret. But still playing the same strings as before. Five this time is the first string, but then it's still three and two. But this too is a movable shape. So what I was doing in the improvised part of the video, I was I was starting up here so that E was my root, and then we've got a new version of an E minor. And then I was just moving this around. So that's an F sharp variation, different voicing, sliding up my index finger so that it becomes a major. We've got a new voicing of a G there. Can take that whole shape down as a C major or even a D major. Back to our E minor. So all I'm doing here is I'm just taking these same chords that we're used to, that we're familiar with, and I'm just moving them around. Um, in ways that sound pleasant to me. I'm just, just experimenting and, and with improvisation you can just tinker away and noodle on the guitar. A 
and experiment yourself. And that's it. That's, that's all I'm doing. I'm just moving around the fretboard, trying to be creative, using chords that sound pleasant to me. Uh, so maybe try and employ that in your, your own songwriting, try and use it if there's uh, something in particular that you maybe you've already written and you want to want to just spice it up and uh, give it a, a point of difference. Um, maybe maybe one of these chords today uh, would be useful for that. Um, so you can find me, uh, you can leave me a comment if there's something in particular you, you found useful, let me know, that would be super cool. Like and subscribe if you wanna catch these videos in the future. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, maybe get stuck in with some of the songwriting challenges that I do over there. Um, then, then follow me at Ben Alder Music. Uh, if you want to check out my music uh, on Spotify, Apple Music, that would be amazing. But I hope you have a great week and that you get tons of songwriting done, that this was inspirational for you. And I'll, I'll see you in the next one.